Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager um, and use it to essentially host your TLS for your you know site or for any of your applications that you are running. Um, now, in this in this video, we'll show you a very simple use case where we'll just put it in front of one of our servers. Um, and actually, it's going to be our image server actually, um, and show that you can actually uh, terminate TLS at that that location now Nginx proxy manager you can actually use in multiple different ways and you don't actually need to just use it on one server you can actually use it across multiple servers and kind of have it be your front end and actually pick figure out hey if i'm going to this url using domain-based routing it would just go to from this server to your actual other server but in this case we're going to do just be a very simple use case and kind of how we've done it um, with Nginx before doing TLS but we'll just use the proxy manager to kind of show you how you can do it with a web GUI if you're not as comfortable using um, Nginx itself um, with the command line so this video is also sponsored by me myself and I so if you enjoy my content want to sponsor me or send me some free swag let me know my email is in the uh, my email is in the description below. Sorry, I'm so tired apparently, um, but that's okay because we're gonna have some fun. So let's get started, guys. All right. So what we'll do here is actually log in to our server. So we're gonna log into our image server, um, image uh, at dr uh, dot dragon dot local. So we'll log in here. So we we already installed everything that we needed to for for this. So this actually runs. So if I were to actually go um, to this on port two two eight three, um, so if I were to go HTTP image two two eight three, it pops up. Everything's there. I can log in. I can do all the things I need, right? But it's not HTTPS. It's only HTTP. So what we'll do here. Um, and we already have Docker installed. We have Docker Compose also installed. We'll actually go and look up Nginx Proxy Manager um, Quick Setup. Um, and essentially, this is this is the full setup here. But we want we we just want the quick setup. Give me one second. I think it's actually um, under Guide Quick Setup. Yeah. So we're gonna. We we've got, we've got the first two things. We got Docker installed and Docker Compose installed. If you're wondering how to do that, feel free to check out pretty much almost any of my videos because most most of my videos do pertain. If if there is a Docker application for it, it will probably be in Docker. Um, but what we'll have here is this. So we'll do make a new directory and we'll call it Nginx. Nginx, um, and then by Docker Compose and add this in here. Um, so we got all that, all that. Yeah, that looks good. And essentially, just do a Docker Compose up. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Docker Compose up. It'll pull. It'll pretty much install in Jenks. Do 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 a. It'll have a web GUI. So that this is this is for if you really want a web GUI to kind of manage your your certs and how everything gets redirected and whatnot. Um, but if you just wanted to just do Nginx itself, this is essentially just is running Nginx in the background, um, but with a GUI. All right, it's pulling, pulling, 25 seconds. It took about 25 seconds, damn. Okay, so now that that's done, what we can do is we'll go to HTTP, and then instead of 127.001, um, we're gonna go to the image. So HTTP image, and then we'll go to port 81 here. Um, so now you see that there is a login for Nginx Proxy Manager. So default user admin, uh, admin for the email address, and change me, which makes a lot of sense. You should probably change it. We won't save that. Um, so we'll save that. Default email address must be changed. Oh, so it's, it's going to force you to change it, guys. It's going to force you to change it. And it will force you to change the password, too. So let's get the password changed and save that all right so you can see it's a pretty pretty you know default gui what we'll do is actually focus on just doing redirects um in this case so um the first thing that we want to do is add our ssl site right um, because if we don't add it it won't work so we'll add an ssl site for the domain name image dot dragon dot local um we're not oh actually sorry um, if you click add, this would try to do a let's encrypt. Um, and in this case, we're not using let's encrypt. We actually have our own CA cert. 
Um, so actually you want to go here and click custom. Um, so what we'll do here actually is, um, give me one second. Uh, actually log into our vault order. Dragon at dragon dot local. Got to remember passwords. There we go. Um, for some reason, it, it, it caches and doesn't actually show. Okay, so we got our CA password, so we're gonna need that. Let me log into our CA server real quick. Let's just root at um, ca.dragon.local. All right, um, make directory image. Now, I could, I could also wildcard this so that essentially anything in this domain would use this, but I'm gonna be good security practice and make it make it for only this domain um so what we'll do a step ca certificate image dot dragon dot local image dot dragon dot local dot key key and then image dot dragon dot local dot set i think it's key and then set but um i can do a history real quick grab certificate um Nope, it's set and then key. It's set and then key. So this is key and this is set. Okay. So we can run this and paste the password that we copied from our vault warden. Um, and now we have both the cert and the key for this. Um, so what we'll want to do here, um, real quick, change directory desktop, SCP root at ca.dragon.local um, and then we want um, image and then image.dragon.local.cert and then get the key all right and then we can go back to our proxy manager um, image.dragon.local um, so we can go to our desktop um, and what, what, what do, we, do we click? What's the top one? Key. Get the key. And here's the cert. That's the cert. And we can save that. Okay, so now we imp imported the cert. Um, if you wanted to you, and you had like multiple different services, you could obviously do a wildcard.dragon.local and then any, anything in that domain will, will be certified. But in this case, we're going to just do this one specifically. Okay, so now we're actually at a proxy. Um, in this case, we'll do image.dragon.local. Um, we'll add that. And this will forward to image.dragon.local um, on 2283, which is essentially what we were at, right? So it'll, it'll just proxy to this, but it, um, it'll actually be secure when it, when it actually goes through. Um, and then, well, well and, and if you wanted to, you can do cache access, block common exploits. So there's like a little bit of security in here if you really wanted to add, add it. Um, but we'll also add the certificate. So we will use our custom certificate, which will expire in 10 years. 10 years, guys, right? Um, um, we'll force SSL and we'll hit save. So now you have your new proxy, um, which we will essentially now be able to do image.dragon.local. And now you can see it's actually secured and we should be able to still log in in here. So dragon at dragon.local, login. And you have everything and it's still, acknowledge, um, you know, secured and you are using HTTPS. So essentially this is just your Nginx proxy that it, it does um, like how we've done previous proxies, but you got a little bit of a manager. You can add your, you can see things in a GUI with, you know, your SSL certs, your host, you can do redirects, you can do streams, you can do 404s. Um, and you know, it, you can do everything that you could do in Nginx, but it's just an easy GUI way of seeing everything. So that's how you essentially proxy. Now we, well, now we've, uh, use it to proxy for one of our servers, but you can do the same thing here if you want to add another proxy for you know like Pi-hole or something like that. We could do the same redirect, um, add Pi-hole in here, um, and then you know if if the domain Pi-hole goes to this server and then it'll redirect, uh, not redirect, proxy through correctly. Um, but you would need to update DNS so that Pi-hole would hit this server IP. So, but there you go, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.